Tracy. Come and see you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Well, today we are going to be wrapping up our local election series. And joining us today is Orion Township Supervisor Chris Barnett to explain to us the Oakland County transportation millage that will be on the ballot next week. So if you live in Oakland County, you are going to see this on your ballot. And Chris is here to give us some information as to what that millage is. Without further ado, let's get Chris on to join us. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm wonderful. Great to see you. It's good to be on Tea with Tracy. Great to see you. It's great to have you back on. I appreciate you joining us. Um, I know you are a busy guy. I can hear your phone buzzing right now. So I know you're busy and I appreciate you coming on um, to explain to us. We are next week already is the elections and um, we've been doing, I know you've been tuning in for them, the local election series and just explaining different positions and millages that, um, that we'll see locally on our ballot. And um, a big one that we have, it's for all of Oakland County, is this Oakland County transportation millage. And I know myself personally, I was confused. I'm like, what is this? Because in Orion, we already voted on our transportation village in right. August for NOTA. Um, so I know you're here today to, to give us some insight and explain, you know, just give us some facts as to what is that millage and um, yeah, where that came from. Yes, I will. <laughs> I, yeah, thanks again for having me and I will do my best. Yeah. I, I um, obviously have been in my role for 10 years, which is hard to believe. And wow. uh, Trans has been talked about uh, several times uh, in, in my tenure here. And I also have served on the North Oakland Transportation Authority or NOTA board uh, yeah. for the all 10 years that I've served as supervisor. So I am familiar with transit options that are available to our residents. Um, and I am trying to get myself very familiar with this new uh, millage proposal. Um, and it is, it is somewhat confusing to our residents because you're right. In August, in the August primary, just a couple months ago, our residents um, pretty widely supported the renewal of the North Oakland Transportation Authority. I'll call it NOTA right. for the rest of this conversation. Yeah. Uh, yes. For the NOTA millage, which is a, just under a quarter mil. So just under point, I think it's point two four something. Uh, this new proposal uh, that would be countywide is for point nine five mils. So, uh, it's, so it's significantly it's, more. It's a four, it's, it's four times more, 400% more. Um, okay. And what, what we're trying and what we're getting a lot of questions from residents. Um, there is a website. If you just Google, it's Oakland. Um, if you go to Oakland County's website or just Google Oakland Transit, it'll come up. And there's a website with some FAQs there. Um, we still are getting lots of questions even when people do visit that website. Yeah. Um, mostly around, you know, basically if we support this, what services will be available to residents in Orient Township. Currently, NOTA only serves, I mean, I don't want to say only, but NOTA is designed to serve seniors 55 and older in our community or those uh, residents in Orient that, are, that have disabilities. Um, so so I'll just use myself as an example. I'm not 55. I'm able-bodied. I'm not able to use the NOTA services to get to the grocery store or to medical appointments. Um, right. People can't rent the buses. Uh, for special events. We see the buses rented for lots of our downtown events and things. Yes. Um, and so that's one of the main questions we're getting is if people support this millage and they live in Orient Township, will they in fact be able to use the services um, or is it going to just be an extension of NOTA? And that, those questions have not been answered yet. And we've been okay. working with the county trying to get that information to find out, in fact, you know, will services be expanded? Um, the NOTA budget, I can tell you because I serve on their board, is $1.7 million per year. And we cover residents in Orion, Oxford, and Addison Townships, including the three villages, Leonard, Oxford, and, and Lake Orion. Um, so the question is, um, and our budget is $1.7 million. What they've told us so far at the county is if this millage is successful, they pledge to fund NOTA to the tune of $2 million a year. Okay. So that's positive. That's good. It's a 15% increase in our revenue, um, but it's again, it's a 400% increase on right. what our residents pay. So it's it's a difficult argument to make, yeah. <laughs> and, and we don't know yet if, if we're going to be able to offer other services to residents either, and that's, that's been a, a lot of the questions and concerns of residents. 
Okay, so it, it sounds like it, this is, so will this replace what we voted on in August or is this in yeah. addition to? Yeah, so uh, it's totally up to the township board. I can tell you as the chair of that board, um, we would, I would be lobbying to not um, levy that quarter mill nota millage uh, that we were, that approved, was approved in, in August um, because we don't want to double tax our residents. Right. So, so, so we would we would not charge the nota millage um, if if the proposal is successful. And and I, I guess just to speak to that a little bit, one of the concerns that we're hearing from residents, and I share, I, just to be an honest, um, you know, the plan was hatched pretty quickly with not a lot of input from us, and you know, people have a right to ask these questions, uh, but but to be you know. 400 percent increase on on taxes without a good plan and that's kind of what we've right. been asking for is show us the plan that's the challenge um right. the other the other difference is you know it could it's a countywide millage so where it before we're all part of the smart system the suburban mobility uh i, I should know it but i don't <laughs> off the top of my head anyway um communities could opt out and communities around us have opted out because they have their own transit systems and programs and in this new millage even if it failed by 20 or 30 percent in Orient Township, but it passes by one vote countywide, our residents would be opted in. So it's not an okay. individual uh, city or township or village vote. It's overall for the whole county. And okay. historically, these have been challenging because it really, you know, we have to make sure that we're, our residents are getting benefit for the taxes they're paying. And that's, that's my biggest concern as a township supervisor. Right. And I know that was a question that I had for you, right? You know, when, when I knew you were going to be able to come on and explain, I said, what is this? Because we already passed NOTA, which affects our community and the surrounding communities. And this is significantly more. And um, and just like you explained, it sounds like there isn't a clear plan. There isn't, um, you know, it, it isn't, hey, we want to do X, Y, and Z with this money. So that's why we're asking for it. It's Hey, can will you please pass this, and then we'll decide, and then we'll decide what to do with the money. Is that a fair statement? I mean, I, I've been, put, I, in my opinion, it's a fair statement, and I've okay. taken some scrutiny from some residents, and actually, people out of our community have uh, sent not so nice messages to me. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, saying I'm anti-transit, um, and, and worse, actually, and I'm not. I, I currently serve right. as the as the chair of the Southeast Michigan Council of Governments. We represent. It's an elected body of other elected officials from all over the seven counties that make up um, Southeast Michigan. It's half our state's population. And I was elected by my peers. And we're all about transit and transportation planning. And I support that. It just, yeah. you know, it, it comes down to, does it make sense for the 40,000 people that I represent every day or not? And what I've been asking for over and over is a clear defined plan. If you go to the Oakland Transit website with the FAQs, it talks about potential for ride sharing and other things. Um, it talks about potential for increased funding, but you will not find a map. You will not find a service routes map. So so a good right. question our residents might be able to say is, A, if I'm under 55, am I going to be able to use the system? I don't know. Right. We haven't got that clear answer. If, I, if, if the system is going to expand, where can I go? Can I get on a bus where and take it right. to where? These are all really good questions, and the answers have – in my opinion, and I'm summarizing, and I've taken some scrutiny from this, but I challenge everyone to take a look at the website. Yeah. Um, the, the answers have been more of the nature of, let us, we got to pass it, we'll get the $66 million, and then, we will, then we will seek input. And that doesn't fly. I, I, I think right. uh, we're at a time that's maybe unprecedented in our country where trust in government is at an all-time low, including even at the local level with the – with Instagram and Facebook and all the social media platforms and Twitter, it's easy for us to be demonized, scrutinized, yeah. not trusted. Um, and, and I think that that's the problem that we have in local government, really more at the federal and state level. But even at local level, we, if we're asking our residents for their hard-earned hard -earned dollars, we need to be able to tell them ahead of time before we collect that money for 10 years, by the way, um, yeah. how we're going to oh, spend yeah. those dollars. Yeah, so people I should be asking those questions. They should, and, and I know I read through, um, I don't know if you have it in front of me, I did not bring it in front of me, but to be able to, to read the specific language, but it, 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 it's a little confusing the way that it's written. It actually sounds like this is a renewal. They, they 
you know, right. it sounds like it's a renewal, but this is not. This would be a new tax. This would be something new. Um, and like you said, it's for the next 10 years. Right. Um, it, 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 it is, does sound and to some extent like it's a renewal, so it might be confusing to people. I mean, I have it. I can read it. Um, it's on the Oakland Transit website. That's what I'm yeah. looking off to on, on, on to the right here. Um, I'm just telling you, people are every day at our counter. People are coming to the counter saying just these same questions. We already voted right. for this. And, and, and I can't tell residents a good conscience that, yes, if we vote for this, services will absolutely be expanded. Um, my, my hunch is they will be, but I don't know if that, I certainly don't think it would be in year one. And so how long do residents pay before they're able to maybe get on a bus and go to Birmingham or Royal Oak or Ferndale? I don't know. Um, right. And most of, most of this is bus transportation. And the other thing I would say is, you know, um, with all these, I mean, right here in our own community, they're building driverless cars at the, at the Orient plant. And there's, there's yeah. fleets of them already dispatched in San Francisco. You can get in a car without a driver in San Francisco and like you would an Uber. So we should be looking at other technologies and things too. And I just feel like this plan was put together so quickly um, right. with a lot, without a lot of information. And literally we heard about it right after the August primary when our NOTA millage was renewed, that this was going to be on the ballot proposal or on the, on the ballot for November. And since that time, um, again, don't take my word for it. Go check it out. Google uh, yeah, Open Transit and, and go through the FAQs. I mean, it's got some language in there that actually says, you know, um, which communities could see additional new transit. And it says, it names off all these cities, says they could see new transportation right. options. And if you live in one of those communities, I don't know how you can vote for this if there's zero definitiveness to seeing any transportation services. I mean, their, their own right. information they're putting out is, isn't like they shall or will. It's could. Right. And that's why I think it's important. That's why I'm doing this series is to get out, you know, good information so people can make informed decisions. And I think if you were just coming, like, I mean, the first time, like the first time that I read it, um, you know, it sounds like it's a wonderful thing. And ultimately, it could be. But like you said, there is no plan in place. So make sure, you know, no matter which community you're in within Oakland County, that you are asking questions and making sure you understand what you're voting on um, so that you can, whichever way you decide you want to vote, that you are voting knowing what, you know, what you're right. voting on. So. And, and again, it's really important. Like, you're right. To, on every issue up and down the ballot, both sides of the ballot, the ballots are, yeah. are huge Two this, sides. this time it around. It is. Yeah. Um, but I think it's really important um, to ask the questions. And and I, if the information that I have, I'm giving. It's the website that we've been directed to. Um, I think that we need to ask for more information up front. And, and the big difference in this millage and other millages is, uh, like, for example, the Nona millage, there's three communities, Orient, Oxford, Addison. If it doesn't pass in one of those communities, they can't push the tax on the tax bill. This okay. millage is different in that I, I, I don't want to – hypothesize too much, but I, I think that the residents that have been getting informed in our community and, and going to the resources that are available have concerns that I'm sharing with you right now. Right. I would be surprised if it was passed in our community. However, I think there's a good chance it will pass countywide. Um, and that's the big difference between this millage and previous millages and, and, the, and the smart system is there will be no opt out for the, if you're one of the 62 cities, villages or townships in Oakland County, and the, and the vote passes affirmatively on November 8th by one vote, entire countywide, even if your community turned it down 80-20, everyone is still going to get that tax. So that's wow. why it's, it's good that yeah. you're – I appreciate you having me on and being able to share this yeah. information and encourage people to reach out to the county if you're not feeling your questions are getting answered by the information that's already available on their website. Yes. Well, I appreciate you joining us, Chris. And that is a very important distinction. So um, just make sure. I mean, I know sometimes these videos make it past just Orion Township. So if you are in Oakland County, um, just make sure that you are doing your research, getting informed so that when you go to the polls next week or if you're filling out your absentee ballot, that you know what you're voting on. So amen but, yes well thank you so much chris i appreciate you joining us always a pleasure and uh I'll, I'll let you get back to your day and thank you all for tuning in um there won't be a live episode next week because i encourage everybody to go to the polls vote have your voice heard this is your opportunity to speak your voice is your vote is your voice so
Awesome. Thank you. Oh, yep. Thank, thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you for all you do. Thanks. We'll see you next time on Team with Tracy.